Hello, good morning everyone. We have some great guests in our studio today. We have Moorhead Mayor Shelley Carlson with us this morning and we also have the Community Center and Library Task Force co-chair James Hand with us this morning to talk about some big things that are going on in the city of Moorhead and how they want people in Moorhead to support their actions. So good morning, how are you two? Great, yeah, thank you well. so much for letting us be here. Yes, well, very excited to uh, have you here. I am a Moorhead resident, so I'm very excited about things that are going on. And so on the ballot this year, besides you know regular races, there's gonna be something for a half cent sales tax increase. Correct. Can one of you understand, uh, explain, excuse me, what that would apply to and why you're looking to get that. Yeah, you know, one of the things that we don't necessarily have in Moorhead is some amenities for our citizens. And so this idea actually came about about a year, year or two years ago um, to put a sales tax on the ballot to fund uh, a community center and attach a library. And we have to have a regional component in order to put a sales tax on in the state of Minnesota. Um, the sales tax would not apply to close, it would not apply to food, it only applies to the things that are already taxed. Um, and in Minnesota, we have a three-prong approach in order to get a sales tax on the ballot. We first have to get permission from our legislature, which we did last spring, and then we have to get permission from our city council, and then we have to get permission from our citizens to even start to be able to pull the sales tax in place. Uh, and what we did after we got permission from the legislature, I put together a mayor's task force to gather information from the public on what would be in the community to center side and James is the co-chair of that mayor's task force and he's just going to talk a little bit about what would be in the community center side because I think a lot of people know what a library is mm -hmm. and fun fact there's about 500 500 people that go through the Moorhead library every single day because it's oh. So much more than books. It is. I, I, I worked for a library for a time. I love libraries. They are great equalizers in um, communities and in societies, and I, I think they just provide so many amazing things. But yeah, if you want to explain um, the community center side, some people hear the word, okay, yeah, I get the gist of what it is, but what's going on in there? What can people use it for? Yeah, uh, you know, if you Google community center, there's a lot of different types of facilities and, and spaces that come up. I mean, everything from a place to sit, have coffee, and play cards to to, you know, a aquatic center. So there's lots of different interpretation of a community center. Uh, so as a task force, part of our uh, first initiative was to gather community feedback and to work to try and clarify a little bit what a community center uh, could mean as part of this project. And through different uh, open houses and surveying and, and gathering information, what we came up with is people really want a place to gather and to run into each other and for, you know, I have three kids, eight and under, and <clears throat> as part of Parks Board, one of the biggest requests we have is my kids need places to, to go in the winter. Like we need, mm -hmm. we need an opportunity for them to go burn energy and, and, uh, and be kids, right? Because obviously we try to be, you know, the bold north and embrace the cold and, and we love all our outdoor activities. Uh, but there are sometimes that it's just a little too cold out there. Uh, so we're really excited to bring uh, a, a pretty large play area into this uh, project for uh, for kids of, of almost all ages. Uh, it'll have a coffee bar, so while you're bringing the kids or, or, or you know whoever, uh, you can grab a cup of coffee and, and mingle and network and, and run into people. I mean, it's really meant to be the community living room, uh, which as I learn more about what a library is today, it actually really complements that uh, incredibly well. So really excited about that part. It'll also include some maker space, uh, different meeting rooms that people can rent, which is one of the, the, the assets of the current library that is uh, greatly undersized. We don't have enough meeting space. Uh, it's it's uh, always booked up, and, and so we're really excited about that. Another huge uh, request from Fargo, or excuse me, Moorhead Parks, uh, is the uh, a walking track. Uh, mm -hmm. So we always get requests for uh, an indoor walking track, and so we're really excited to make that a part of this project and make it a more unique track than just a, you know a track around a a uh, basketball gym floor in a pre-engineered metal building mm -hmm. uh, that will oversee all these activities that are going on and, and really just be a unique space for, for Moorhead. We're really excited about that. Yeah. I think that is yeah. so many amazing things in there that so many different ages can utilize. So from grandparents to the grandkids, everyone can go have a good time there. 
uh, and, yeah. and utilize the services, which is um, amazing. And so if we want to go back, we had some renderings, yes. I believe, of what it looks like. If we can pull those up and then um, you two can kind of explain what we are seeing here. Yeah, so that one, is that, would that be the library, the community center, or they're kind of like conjoined spaces? They're, you know, they're really conjoined spaces. One of the things that we really uh, lack in the current library in Moorhead is some separation between the children's area and the adult area. Uh, kids tend to be um, loud and mm -hmm. run and jump yeah. and they want to move around and play which we want them to do that we want to th them to em em embrace that um, and so we would have that uh, separated out a little bit the first image had a little bit of the walking track and what you're seeing now is the indoor play area which we really wanted it to m to look like when you're coming in, it looks like you're in Minnesota. You look like mm -hmm. you're kind of mm -hmm. in the woods. There's a tree fort in there. There's a w climbing wall in the back. Um, there's also going to be some really fantastic opportunities to layer public-private partnerships. So, for instance, the climbing wall, that could be somebody coming in to give classes on how to do climbing. Um, it could be somebody who takes over the coffee bar area and has a small business. The makerspace, we actually have a million dollars in the federal budget right now, thanks to Senator Klobuchar and Senator Smith, that that one million is for an entrepreneurship center, which we would be able to put that money into the makerspace with a 3D printer, um, perhaps a podcast room, and to really uplift the entrepreneurs in our community who want to start small businesses. So that's a really fantastic uh, visionary portion of this community center. It is, and so uh, we have just a little bit of time left, and so people, if they're wondering, where would this go? Where's it, where, do, where yeah. do you want to put it up? Yeah, that's, that's probably been one of the biggest questions. It is going to be right along Center Avenue. Um, part of our downtown plan in the city of Moorhead within the Moorhead Center Mall footprint. Um, and just to give a little bit more information about the tax analysis, it would be a half cent sales tax. And so that comes to about $2 a month per year, per, or $2 a month. Um, per person in the city of Moorhead or $25 a year. So I like to kind of look at, it's a, l a lot less than a fancy cup of coffee, uh, which less. are about four or five dollars. Oh now, yeah, five a bucks small about, one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, so you know, you give up a fancy cup of coffee and mm -hmm. really help to contribute to this amenity. It would have um, about 22 years of collection is what we're anticipating and we cannot go above the 31.59 million. So in Minnesota, again, we have to say, this is how much we're gonna collect. Mm -hmm. This is how long it's gonna take us and that's all we can do and then so, okay, so it's not for people that are concerned it's not just going on forever and then no. you know money just keeps rolling in okay yeah there's that's a sunset we're very mindful of when talking about the different programming in the community center and in the library is that there is a finite budget so mm -hmm. we didn't want to promise you know that it was going to be this giant you Taj know, Mahal of, right, of, that of just, things okay Moorhead has a lot of needs and a lot of them yeah. will be addressed in the future and right. going forward but we we focused on what was feasible for this specific project and we're really excited yep. about but it will be the catalyst for our downtown oh. if this when we get I like to speak in the positive mm -hmm. when we get the the yes vote on November 8th this is going to kickstart all of our development in downtown Moorhead we've talked to many many private partners that are literally just waiting on the sidelines to, to see if Moorhead's going to be bold enough to put some skin in the game, which I really hope they are. Um, to find out more information, go to yes56560. I'm, I'm wearing the website, yeah, okay. basically. Um, Facebook as well. Awesome. Okay, you heard it right there. Uh, we have to go right after this break, but remember, get out and vote on Election Day. <laughs>